Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I've never studied art in the time. No, no. And I've been doing this for almost six years. And, and my one friend that's here, and I say, I'm going to do something. And I'll say, well, you've never done that before. Your John Scream is one of a kind. No, and then I always do it. I kind of have a, 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 a drink or something. You too, Mr. Joe. All right. My vision is uh, 2025. Prior to the surgery, it was 2070. And we were reluctant to do anything because I'm one eye. And I could still make art, right? Wait till you hear this. Because look at this kind of matches things here a little bit. Um, the one piece out in the hallway on September 12th, the day, night before surgery. I finished working. I thought, well, I may not be able to finish this one. But I had to have the surgery because I couldn't read subtitles on the TV, you know what I mean? So. I had the surgery, the next day I go back for the post-op, my eyeball swollen, the pressure was up to 26, but they weren't worried. I go home, my neighbor drove me. Um, when I finally get back here, I lay down, but I don't really sleep sleep. But Natasha, when I walked in here, the colors were completely different. I could see crystal clear, the, the, the clock, it was electric green. And we both did the same piece, but differently. Like the big piece over there, uh, no, the, this piece is in the hallway. And so every time I finish a section, I photograph by laying it on the floor with my iPhone. I really like to tell my play. dear friend Bobby LaRose that's here at that the from high school. When I was done the the she needs a job, she said, you know, if you get up under this, you can see the, ir you can see the iridescence. And if you get up under this in the camera, you can see it kind of flickering. Yeah, yeah. I had to have up because they wanted to show me about me and my heart. And they wanted people that know me. You can try the different lenses. There we go. So, you guys qualify. He did 350 paintings in nine years. So, when he died, Bobby and I did a show at the Affirmations Gallery in Ferndale. Double hung them, sold them for about 400 bucks each, and gave all the money to Affirmations. Then we have all these, and there was that big queer show last year. He's a gay artist from Detroit. So I had three of them framed up, and I already have these. And this is now the Jack Whitehead Memorial Hallway. <laughs>